Hi everybody, I hope this video finds you guys well. Um, man, hopefully I can get through this video. This has been the hardest through tall video to make. I have had all kinds of stuff happen. Um, from being interrupted to just, anyway, it's a, it's been a mess. Um, let me go ahead and get started. Well, this is my outfit of the day. It's not really anything special. It, it is thrift. Um, it is this piece t-shirt that I think I showed you a couple videos ago and actually a pair of uh, Levi's. Um, I don't normally, I can normally, normally these are a good length short for me. I like short, short, not short shorts, but shorts that are, I like long shorts, but I, this is a good length. Any shorter than that and I just don't feel comfortable with it. Okay, so, um... Devin just walked in. Don't interrupt me, okay? Don't make noise, okay? Let me show you a couple of things. Let me go ahead and get started. Um, I got these sunglasses from the Village Thrift Store. I have been telling you guys the wrong name of the thrift store for basically all my videos. I've been calling it Value Village. It's not Value Village. That's the furniture store. <laughs> this is called the Village Thrift Store is where I go. So if I have trouble and I keep saying Value Village, I mean the Village Thrift Store. So I got these um, sunglasses. Um, I got these. I have no idea who they're made by. Of course, you know, there's never any labels on them. But I got these cool, if you can see them. Aviator sunglasses. Um, they're not your typical completely round. They're kind of a, a, almost like an oval-esque, which fit really good on my face. Um, I have this really bizarre, sh not bizarre shape, but I have an un not an unusual shape, but you know, you have to work with sunglasses. So I really liked these um, aviator glasses, but kind of a different look to the aviator glasses. Um, they were um, 290 and I can't remember if they were half off or 25% or 33%. And then I got these. Um, these don't even... Oh, these were by Revlon. Who knew Revlon made sunglasses? But really cute tortoise shell um, glasses. I thought they were cute. They were $3.90. And then I got these. These are Kenneth Cole's. Very similar in shape to my glasses. So, uh, I have a mirror over here if you guys are wondering what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so these are these. They were $3.90. So those were um, eyeglasses I got. And then I got these pair too. I don't, um, I don't remember where I got these from. I didn't get these from um, the Village Thrift. But anyway, I got these two. Just thought they were fun. Got a little scratched on them, but I think I can fix those up. Probably a good cleaning. Just like the shape of them. Okay, let me go ahead and start down here. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, I also have just, I have been um, collecting patterns. And I've got some patterns that I've gotten. They were like, you get like five or six in a packet, and they were like $1.90 a piece, um, half off. Um, then I went to a thrift store um, that I normally don't go to. Because I just don't have the time and um, it's in an area where they're doing some major construction on the roads and it's just a mess to try to get there. Um, out near uh, Tyson's Corner. And if you guys live in the D.C. area or on the Virginia side, you guys know what a mess Tyson's Corner is, particularly on 495. So I don't go there that often. I just happen to have a little bit extra time and thought I'd do something new. Anyway, well, um, and it was called, it's called the Unique Thrift, I think, is what it's called, Unique Thrift. Um, anyway, while I was there looking around, they announced over the PA system that all their shoes, um, hats, um, uh, handbags, and, um, their boat boutique items, which they have some little booths that have their higher-end stuff behind glass and stuff, everything was half off. So I picked up a couple of pair of shoes. Um, I got these espadrilles with the laces by Bamboo. 
They were $6.99, never been worn, half off. And then I got these little slide-on um, sandals by the Quacker Company. And of course, you can imagine what attracted me to them was the little daisies. They're very cute, little wedges, slip-ons. And I'm not usually a fan of slip-ons. I just, I don't, I don't, I'm just not comfortable wearing them. But I liked these with the daisies. They were $6.99, half off. Um, and I got this handbag, Banana Republic, just kind of woven. Uh, I think it was $5.99. They had a tag stapled on it, and the cashier took it off. So it was like $5.99, so I got it for 3 bucks. thought it was cute. Okay, um, and then let me go ahead and get down here. I went to what is fast becoming my favorite thrift store when they have their half-price sale, which is the Joseph's Coat, which does the battered um, women's shelter. Um, they were still, this is week number four. That's why my haul is so big. It's because I been there every Friday um, and I've gotten something which is ridiculously crazy so I got these um, I got a couple of these and some books this time around for my daughter um, some actually really good books that uh, were like ten dollars eleven dollars each and I got them for like a buck a piece and they're um, they were scholastic dear America's they're like journals um, written by kids during certain periods in history. She's really into history. So they're kind of journals based on the Civil War. There's a journal of a Civil War soldier for the Union. There's um, um, a factory girl in Boston at the turn of the century. That type of stuff. She's really interested. And they're like, they're, the books are like that. They're a little bit bigger than a paperback and not even as thick as like a good, you know, a, a novel, a romantic novel would be, they're not even that thick and those were like $10.95 and they were a hardcover and I got them for a buck anyway I got this um, Blair romper and to be honest I thought this was vintage and I'm not really sure because I can't find a tag on it or anything but it's kind of made out of a denim material, it's got a bra with padding in it um, the way the label is, I want to say that it's vintage, but I'm not really sure. It says it's an 18. I don't know. Does that look like an 18? Uh, that's why I got it, because I thought it would fit on me. I think it's vintage because it, it just, anyway. Um, but it's by Blair. These two I know are vintage. They're 1970s swimsuit. Um, the, they're both by, um, Rosemary Reed. There's this one. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, that one that I just put down was $6 and it was half. This one was $5 um, and I got it for two fifty. dollars But it was by, it's the Rosemary Reed swimsuit from the 1970s. So it is vintage. A um, little bit of fading, but it was $5, two fifty. dollars um, This one also was from her, and I thought it was $5, but it was $16. And I got it for 8 but still. Um, very cute swimsuit. Um... Should have the straps here, but those are missing, but it can go strapless. That's so really cute with the animal print. I'm going to keep going. Um, these I got at Joseph's Coat last week. Um, and they are called Piccolino Shoes. Um, they didn't have a size on them, or so I, so I thought. But if you look at the bottom, they have a 38 on them. So they're like an 8.5, 9. Um, no, I think... Uh, Eight and a half is like a 39, and a nine is like a 40. Anyway, these are like 38s. I normally wear a nine, a 40, but I tried them on, um, not seeing the size, and they fit. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see this at the bottom. It has the Nordstrom tag on it. These have not been worn. This tag is still in really good condition. But the original price on these shoes that somebody paid for them, $139.95. Um... They were priced in Joseph's Coat for 14 I got them for 7 So I got a $140 pair of shoes for 7 bucks. And that's one of the things that I like about thrifting, is you never know what you're going to come across. Um, I have gotten things um, years ago, and I kept it for years, and I could kick myself for getting rid of it. I got a Givenchy linen jacket that was just cute and I could never find anything to wear with it so I donated it so hopefully it's found a happy home 
Um, that was one of my really good finds. Another find that I got that I actually gave to a neighbor because it was too big was it was a Prada dress. And I paid $3.99 for it with 25% off from the Salvation Army. And I've never seen one since. But keep going. So you never know what you're going to find at the Salvation Army. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers um, is... Um, you can look it up as Thrifters 101, Daniel Tropy. He does luxury thrifting. So he finds things like, he's on the lookout for things like um, like Prada, like um, Givenchy, like Christian Dior. Um, and he finds some really great um, stuff. So um, again, it's uh, Daniel Tropy, Thrifters 101. Um, if I think about it, I'll put the link down at the bottom. But this is, um, this I got from the Village Thrift. Um, it's just a Liz Claiborne denim skirt. Um, very 70-esque looking, but um, modern. But I thought it was cute. It was six ninety. Um, I don't remember because this is a, like oop, this is like a few weeks worth of stuff. So um, so that was that. I'm gonna wrap it up real quick, and I'll come back. This looks like this may be a three-parter. Um, this is a vintage set by Mark of California. He's really cute floral print palazzios with the matching top. Um, I'd probably wear it together with like a black camisole under it or just wear it by itself with something else. But it was $9.90 half off. So that was really cute. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you before I shut down is from um, Joseph's Coat again. It was just this um, Express Design Studio top that I liked. And I liked the design on the back and then I also liked um, the tie in the front. Um, and it was five dollars, um, half off for two fifty. So um, stay right there, and I'll be right back with. <laughs> I can't do it with part two. Thanks.